essentially we've got I was going to say we've got a report out about the RSC but we haven't we've got one part of it and a small part of a summary um, first of all where's the full report so, so obviously the full report was received on time on the 21st July at the end of the term um, the department obviously now needs to redact that um, it's quite heavy redaction to take place because there's been a lot of there's a lot of personal information in there because we've obviously spoken to parents teachers and officers but why couldn't you publish the executive summary without having to publish the full report at this stage because you are basically told parents trust us because there's no actual personal data there's very limited personal data but that's data only on one the part summary, of so. the executive summary sorry that is that says it's E part of the executive summary it's set yeah that, that's... by that account there should be another four sections of it which there is an element here of your department is just saying to parents you're going to have to trust us so for now so section E will be getting redacted and we will be publishing the full report as uh, soon as possible but I, I, it just can you see why people are a bit concerned about this at the minute because there has been a case of this report's going to be published and now it's here's a small part of it but they found there was nothing wrong so so at the outset for part one we we published the summary and we've done the same for for part two and um, we've always said that we will publish the full reports once we've completed the investigations so we're obviously we're in part two and um, we have got further work to do now with our schools and um, our professionals in this field once um, schools open in September so um, however we are currently redacting um, the part two report and there is a lot of personal information in there so that's the right thing to do we should be very careful how when we publish it and make sure there's no personal data in there so anybody can be identified so obviously you've seen the report what was there anything that surprised you at all or? No, you know, it, it's a good report and um, we've done it independently, um, which was the right thing to do. I know that um, people are concerned that the investigators, well certainly some of my colleagues, um, are concerned that the investigators are not the right people to take forward, but they were the right people to do the investigation. So the investigation has been carried out um, by professional investigators, they've come up with the, with the summary of findings and we need to now make sure that um, we put that into action, um, but we need to do that with our professionals to make sure that, um, that they are involved because they're the educationalists and that we bring forward the right curriculum for the Alabama. The, this, the, executive, the, the part of the summary that has been published said the parents should be seeing what is being taught in these lessons so if they have concerns they can remove their children from this. Do you think this should have been done a year ago and none of this would have had to happen then if parents had to be more involved with this policy? and this decision that was taken ultimately? So this curriculum has been in our schools since September 2020. It wasn't new last year. It's been in since since that date. Um, and certainly the, the, the RSE policy is published on, on so certainly published on the QE2 website. So it was there accessible as to what um, will be taught in those lessons. Um, the communication piece, I think communication in, in any, whether it's in your schools or whether it's government generally, is really important in how you communicate. Um, I think the concern for some parents is that they would opt to opt out um, or, you know, to withdraw their students from, from elements of this. And that's, you know, quite right that that option is there. It, you know, it should be there and it is there. Um, same as um, if, if we're teaching um, anything on religion, that is an option. Um, it's obviously come forward, uh, the investigation, and has paused an RSE after an initial complaint, and then uh, quite, quite obviously we all know um, what happened from there. It escalated quite quickly, so pausing the curriculum was the right thing to do. Um, reintroducing it is the right thing to do. I've had as many parents say to me that they want it reintroduced as soon as possible. And um, that is what we'll do, but we will be ensuring that that communication with parents um, is clear and they know what will be taught in the lessons. And, uh, you know, it's really important to teach our students um, elements of, of this curriculum to make sure they can make the right choices and the informed choices going forward. Like you say, it is a very important area and as part of this you're going to be schools are going to be looking for specialist teachers in this or teachers who can be trained on how to teach this in essence I think the 
that's the gist of it going forward, is that correct? So, so we've got special, we've got PHSE leads in all of our schools um, that, that manage this area of the curriculum. And I think that's key for me to mention, um, Sam, that PHSE curriculum has RSE as a part of it so the rest of the PHSC curriculum has continued uh, and will continue and that has drop down days it has the police coming in and various things there's, there's a you know selection of um, topics that get covered in in that um, but but the RSC um, obviously from the report it says that they should be specialists and they should be trained and it, it's really important for me to make sure that all of our teachers are um, highly trained and qualified in, in subject matter and um, RIC shouldn't be any different and we'll certainly be introducing that and making sure our teachers have that time to do the training and they are comfortable with delivering these lessons um, certainly when a timetable is drawn up um, if you haven't got your full allocated timetable you might be asked to do PHSE we should only be asking people that are comfortable to do it and that are trained to do it and to make sure that we can deliver the same curriculum throughout the island. Um, Miss, just finally on this, the lessons aren't going to start straight away in September. They're going to come back in later in the school year, back January. Why is the decision taken to sort of put that block on? Is that to allow for the time to train teachers and make sure that they're basically up to date on what should be on with this? It's to make sure our, our teachers, our professionals, professionals are back in our schools in September. They have the time to consider the report and that um, we then obviously need to move into that training element as well. Um, it's, it is important to bring it back as soon as possible, but we will only bring back what's right for the Isle of Man. And um, I'd rather take time and get it right and make sure it's well communicated to our parents than bring something back in a hastily manner, just because we should. Um, we have to do things right. And um, as I say, it's been in our schools since September 2020. We've had, problem, we've had issues highlighted and uh, we need to now, it's given us that opportunity to look at it um, in depth. Um, certainly it's the first time I've looked at it as a minister. Um, however, our professionals need to decide what should be in that curriculum, but also make sure that it's well communicated to parents so they have options to have their students in the lessons or not. Was that for you? So 